Hi, I'm Sai. Let's have a discussion on sound and sound waves. You see here, sound waves as pictured in Reaper. Sound is typically produced in our ears by waves of pressure in the air. The waves can be described by frequency and amplitude. Each musical note that we hear is defined by a particular frequency in most Western music. The amplitude can be equated to intensity, which to our ears correlates to loudness. Here I have captured a number of sound waves in Reaper. All of these are about a quarter note in middle C. Middle C is C4 on your keyboard and is a wave at about 261 hertz or cycles per second. The first wave is from a piano synthesis. The height in these waves represent amplitude or volume. And the length, of course, is time. The shape shows characteristics that you see in most musical notes. Uh, on the piano wave here, you see the attack, which is the rise to a maximum. The decay, which is the fall to a relatively level area, which is called sustain. And then it goes away after the end of the note in a time frame called the release. So you have an attack in a certain amount of time, a decay in a certain amount of time, a sustain of a certain amount, and then a release of a certain amount of time. On your synthesizers, you will usually see ADSR to describe these things. The next wave here is a middle C sine wave. If I expand it, you can see very clearly that is a sine wave. And this is the most common wave. You'll see it in almost all synthesizers. The next wave is a saw. It has a little bit of attack, but that's probably a poor software. The saw is characterized by a vertical rise and then a ramp slide down. It's shaped like a sawtooth, obviously. The triangle simply looks like a triangle. It's also very common. The ramp is the reverse of a saw. It has a ramp up and a vertical fall down. It could be called a right saw. The other one might be called a left saw. Finally, I pictured a square or pulse wave. Again, it has a slight attack, probably because the synthesizer isn't working very well. But overall, you can see it obviously is squared off. This, these are the major common waves used. Uh, any particular synth may offer some or all of these and others and ways to make your own waves. Now let's build a riser. Why should we build a riser? What is a riser? A riser is a sound that gradually rises in pitch. It can be simple or complex and it can be as long as you want, like half a bar or 12 bars. Here's an example.
We can use a riser as a simple decoration or as an integral part of our hook or to make a less exciting passage more exciting. And it can be used as a transition between sections. We'll add a track now with the reascent synthesizer on it. Reascent is a simple synthesizer that comes with Reaper. It starts out with a sine wave. You can then mix in various other waves that you like. You can adjust the tuning and other measurements. Let's not adjust anything. Let's simply mix in the square wave. Also, let's add edit that MIDI item. The MIDI item should be at two bars long, and I'm using C sharp three as a note for two bars. Now, with this MIDI item, it can be as long as you want, and you can loop it. This simple riser won't care. Let's listen. Not very inspiring. Not uh, rising. Let's add Rhea Pitch. It's a VST that comes with. Reaper. It allows us to adjust the pitch. We want it to vary over several octaves, so we'll automate it. First, click the shift full range slider. Then click the param button, and you can click show track envelope. This creates an automation envelope. There are other ways to create the envelope, and I'll show you one later. Let's create a point on the envelope, and a second point, and two more points at the end. Drag the point, one of the points at the end, all the way up to 24 semitones, which is two octaves. Drag the first point down to one octave, roughly. Let's try that. That's the rise we want. But we want it a little fancier. First, let's fill it out a little bit by adding some reverb. Add. Reverbate, a reverb VST that comes with Reaper. We really don't need to adjust it much. I would adjust the dampening down to about eight and leave the rest. Let's see what that sounds like. Better. Let's add a width plugin.
Reaper comes with several. Stillwell stereo whip. Work in this case. I'll boost it. And the gain to around four. We'll see how that sounds. Okay. Let's add an EQ. Rhea EQ comes with Reaper. All we really want to do is to make it a high pass. And set it at about 270, at least for my song that kept it from interfering with uh, some other parts. See what that sounds like. Nice. Let's add one more thing. Click the envelope button. On reascent, on rea pitch, click the volume. Close that. Now click to modulate this parameter. Center the baseline value. Pick LFO. LFO means low frequency oscillator. It's the same wave shapes or oscillators that we've looked at earlier. Lots of choices. We'll stick with sine. We'll move the speed up to 8 hertz. Leave the strength at 100 and make it centered. Let's see what that sounds like. Nice. We'll leave it at that. And that is a riser. I hope you like it. Goodbye.